hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see about azure container instance so in the previous video we have you know published the uh, custom image from our linux vm into the azure uh, container registry and now let's see how we can use that image from the container registry to deploy into the container instance so let me just go ahead and create the container instance click on all resources and create here you can search with container instance okay let's click on create so here i can choose the resource group and the container name okay so here the region let's leave it south east asia and uh, by default it's taking the source from quick start images and let's use our image from the azure container registry that we have you know deployed and this was the container registry that we created so here it says admin user must first be enabled for the registry so let's just go into a different uh, tab and go to the uh, container registry that we have created and here you can just go to the access keys under the settings and here you need to enable the admin user before we perform the container instance creation okay now let's go back to the another tab and let's uh, refresh here okay let me select the resource group and uh, the container name okay and now let me select azure container registry and uh, i have only one image the uh, in the container registry and uh, which is uh, this is the image name in this uh, registry and it's going to be the latest image back and uh, i'm going to use the linux with one vcpu 1.5 gig memory and next click on networking and here let's leave it with the public and next you can you know enter the port which is 3306 for the mysql database and next you can click on advanced just tag review plus create okay it's running the final validation check once this is passed we can just go ahead and create the container instance okay so the validation has passed let's click on create the container instance okay so let's wait for this deployment to be completed okay so the deployment is succeeded let's click on go to resource and here under containers you know we can see the mysql container instance and the state it says waiting okay so to connect to this uh, instance you need to choose the connect and here you can choose the bin bash and click on connect so we need to wait for this status to be uh, running and then we should be able to connect to the instance 
so once uh, the state become running and then you should be able to access the instance and you can you know log into the uh, mysql database and perform your queries okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next